the rest great adventure. Take a journey of the heart. The old time and cares behind you in a world that's worlds apart. Come together at great adventure, sharing love and fantasies. Where else can you find such magic rides and shows like these? So come together at all this wonderful sunshine. Get ready for summer, and I'll see you next weekend. Linda Carter rushes to the rescue when a treacherous Nazi scheme threatens the American economy on Wonder Woman tonight at 6 on Channel 48. I don't want to ricochet love, I just want a man in my Sid, I apologize. I didn't mean to be late. I got hung up. Uh, uh, hey, 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 not so fast there. First thing you're going to do is tell me how that child of yours is doing. What child? Well, you did say you were driving into Monticello this afternoon to see your little girl. Oh, oh yes. Joel, she's fine. She's just fine. It's cute as cute as can be. Hey, hey, hey. Hold on a minute. Something's bugging you. No, I'm, I'm all right. You want to talk about it? I got big shoulders. <laughs> Too big, in fact. Charlie Pines hit me for a 50 this morning with the saddest story you ever want to hear. And boy, am I a sucker for sad stories, even when I know they're not true. And the boys at the mortgage bank are not interested in sad stories comes the first of each month. Everything has just gotten so complicated, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Oh, hey, honey, look. Any minute now, your, your man's gonna walk through that door, and if it will make things any less complicated, you can take the rest of the day off. No, okay? no, only... I'm not gonna let you do that. You've already had to double up on all my lunch customers. Hey, I said that your man is gonna come through that door. Nobody said a word about any customers. Do you feel all right? Oh, I'm just a little dizzy. The doctor told me I shouldn't get up. Well, if the doctor told you you shouldn't, then probably you should. I'm not making any sense, am I? No, I'm afraid not. I did go into Monticello today to see my daughter. I also went in to see the doctor. What doctor? My obstetrician. That's who you go to see when you're going to have another baby. of Night is brought to you by the Comfortable Diaper, Love's Disposable Diapers, and by Era, the detergent that cleans your whole wash all by itself. In the next few weeks, in stores across America, you will begin to find a remarkable new laundry detergent. It will be called New Formula Era. This new era will be a new combination of powerful cleaners, cleaners that will work hard on ordinary dirts. Tough dirts, grease, oil, and food soils. Cleaners that will work even harder than before on collars, all concentrated into one quarter cup. Try it for yourself. Look for the special ERA coupon in many newspapers the week of May 10th. Chase away things that go bump in the night. Fix a toy right on the spot. Helping a big girl get ready. Little things I do for my family really do mean a lot. So I care about everything that touches our lives. Like White Cloud. White Cloud? Uh-huh. I can't buy a softer bathroom tissue. Feel. Mmm. But White Cloud's more than soft. It's made of two full fluffy plies. And you know the two is more than... One. And White Cloud's absorbent, too. Watch. Wow, it is. The most absorbent. Softness, fullness, absorbency. They're all little things that add up to White Cloud quality for this family. White Cloud, because little things mean a lot. Take a look at that.
that label, Raven, you're not going to see very many of those around. I doubt that there are more than a couple of dozen left in the world, that vintage. Well, I'm glad I let you choose, but then I always let the man do everything. When you think it's strategic. Well, women always have their strategy. And the most skillful stratagem you employ is the art of surrender. Is that why you think I called? <laughs> no. No, it wasn't strategy, it was honesty. I think it's foolish of us to fight over Jody Travis or anything else. Well, I'm very glad you feel that way. Should I open this now, sir? Yes, please. So, Geraldine tells me that Jody's going to be interviewed on WMON. <coughs> did you arrange that? Yes, I did, and it's not the only thing I arranged. I've also rehired Gavin Wiley. Oh, you have? Mm -hmm. Why? Well, it seemed like the best thing to do. I mean, despite all his faults, he is quite a fine choreographer, and Jody's got a lot of confidence in him. The next thing I know, you'll tell me that Martine's coming back. Martine is not coming back. Now or ever. She is a closed chapter in my life. I am now about to begin a new chapter. For both in my professional and my personal life. Well, that deserves a toast. I was just going to suggest it. To a new chapter. In your life and mine. Of course, you already know what's ahead of you, though, right? Well, I've got a pretty good idea, although life does hold its surprises. <laughs> yes, it does. As a matter of fact, I have one for you. What's that? Well, I think we need another toast, because I also have a new chapter in my biography. So congratulate me. I'm getting married. <laughs> I knew I was pregnant even before I came to East Meadows. I didn't tell Draper, though, because, because of the situation between us. I didn't want my baby to be an excuse to force him to do something about Emily. It was something he had to do on his own. Well, honey, you're not going to be able to hide the truth much longer. I know. Having a bit of trouble as it is, I'm going to tell him tonight, though, because we are going home tonight. Well, you should have gone home a long time ago, even without your husband. I couldn't do that. I couldn't leave Draper to risk his life up here by himself. I couldn't bear the thought of leaving him alone. What, did you have to go all the way back to Monticello just to see a doctor? It may come as a surprise to you, but we do have doctors here in East Meadows. I know. It's just that I've had some bad experiences, uh, trouble in past pregnancies. I lost my first baby due to an accident, and uh, they thought I would um, never have children, but then uh, Julia was born, but she was two months premature, so I just, I just have to be careful. Well, then tonight's reunion is all the more cause for celebration. And it is also all the more reason to force Draper to come home with me. Are you sure you don't know where Mr. Scott is, or are you just afraid to tell me? No, it's the truth, Mrs. Michaels. I haven't heard from him at all. The only person I've spoken to is Mrs. Scott. Oh, really? What did she have to say? Did she mention her husband at all? No, she didn't. She just inquired about her baby. You wouldn't be lying to me, Mrs. Timmins, would you? After all, there are things I could tell Mrs. Scott about her baby, like the time you let someone walk off with Julia without any trouble at all. <laughs> Please, Mrs. Michaels, I've told you the truth. I haven't heard from him, and I have no idea where he is. I think you know more than you're admitting, Mrs. Timmons. Now, stop holding out on me. Where is Draper Scott? I don't know. He certainly hasn't called here or been to visit. And if, if, if he is in Monticello, I'm, I'm sure that he would stop by to see his little girl. He just adores her. You're right. He would stop by if he were in town. Which means he has to be still in this town. All right, Mrs. Timmons, thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Well, I guess it's time for another trip to Sydney's Tavern. I still think you're nuts to pass up this offer, Richie. Fifty bucks, five zero for one night off. No, thanks, Shark. Look, it's not like you're gonna have to be doing anything around here. Old Kincaid went to the movies in that charity case. She's, she's always too shy to ask for anything. Sharky, I've been stuck in this place for days. I've just got to get out of here. The town's dead. I told you that. All the chicks must have been kidnapped by gangs of white slavers. There's nothing out there but a vast wasteland, Look, old buddy. I don't care if it's the moon. i got to have a change of scenery. I'll probably just go to a movie by myself. All right. I know how you feel. I get the itch, too, sometimes. New places, new faces. 
I'm going to be doing some real traveling soon. Oh, yeah? Where to? Ah, someplace better than this, I can tell you that much. Come on. You got a new job? Job? You are looking at a man who will never have to work again a day in his life. Well, how come? I just discovered a rich uncle. How about that? Hey, look, I got to get going. You sure you're not going to change your mind about the 50? Uh, no, no. It's my night out. <sighs> have a good one. Uh, Miss Bryson? Bye. Hi. Hi. No, hi. I'd like to apologize for, that, for the way I behaved in your father's office. I, I just didn't realize who you were. Yes, I know. Uh, you figured I was a patient so you could try anything you wanted? I apologize. Well, um, apologies accepted. Uh, will you be staying with your folks here? Or? No, actually, I'm not. I'm uh, looking for a hotel. Do you know of one? Well, there isn't a hotel in town, but there's a motel. It's the East Meadows. It's uh, right out on Route 9. Just head south. You can't miss it. Thank you. Anytime. I sure hope I'll be seeing you soon, Valerie. Chester for Carpet Fresh. As the one who's closest to the carpet, I'd like to share some of my thoughts with you about a great rug and room deodorizer, Carpet Fresh. It keeps your carpet not only smelling cleaner, but looking cleaner, too. Just look at the difference between a rug that was vacuumed regularly with Carpet Fresh and one that wasn't. Remember, Carpet Fresh keeps your carpet not only smelling cleaner, but looking cleaner, too. And I wouldn't think that on television if it wasn't true. brought you something to remember me by. Oh, Rick. Crunch and munch. Crunch and munch? Nuts. Yep, and popcorn, too. Taste that buttery coating. Mm. That's not caramel, not a sugary glaze. It's rich, sweet, buttery. Buttery? That's toffee! Yep, popcorn and peanuts in toffee with real butter. I'll never forget you, Betty. I'll never forget crunch and munch, Rick. Crunch and munch. Popcorn and peanuts with real buttery toffee. Thank you, sir. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it was fine. Thank you. Thank you. Derek Mallory. So he was more than just an acquaintance. Yes, he was. And you knew he was, even though you pretended to believe me. Are you suggesting that in my own way, I was just as much a liar as you? It's not lying. It's a game we play. We all play and will continue to play as long as there are men and women. How long has this been going on? For a while. So while you were seeing me, you were also seeing him? Yes. Well, I imagine I shouldn't be so surprised. It's just that I'm never surprised in these matters. No, of course not. That's why you have Gunther, so that you won't be surprised. He is a man of many talents. Well, it's a good thing I'm clever, or he would have been following me all over Monticello, wouldn't he? No, that's not true. I don't spy on women. It is true that I had him watching out for Martine, but that was a professional precaution. Oh, of course, so that another dance company wouldn't steal her. A man has got a right to protect his interests. How long have you known him? Since he came to Monticello. And when did this proposal take place? Last night. Oh, I see. So that's why you were so willing to surrender your pride and come see me this evening. I thought you'd want to know. You mean you wanted to gloat about it? Women do not gloat over marriage proposals. They bask in them. They glow with happiness. And I just wanted to share my radiance. Yes, I'm practically sunburned from it. Oh, Skye, you're mad at me, aren't you? No, Raven, I'm thrilled for you. I didn't mean to shock you. Derek has been after me for a long time. Actually, this was just a formality. Why didn't you grab him sooner? Because I wanted to be more careful. I've had two failed marriages. I want the third one to last. I'm a very old-fashioned girl. I've got one question for you, Rev. Where did I fit in? What was I to you? Is the last fling before your march down the wedding aisle? I hadn't made up my mind when I met you. But you've made up your mind now. 
Yes. And you were instrumental in my decision. Oh. <laughs> the contrast. I didn't realize how kind and considerate and gentle and strong and stable Derek was until I met Skylar Whitney. So, we should toast to you. You helped me make my decision. To you, darling. Amy's so happy since she started wearing Loves. Loves is the most comfortable diaper. Look, only Loves has a real hourglass shape to cradle her in comfort. And Loves has flexible gathers. Loves flexible gathers snuggle up comfortably. Move with her every move. Loves. Loves fits comfortably. Ordinary diapers sag, leave gaps. And no diaper is more absorbent than Loves. Loves. Such a comfortable baby. That's because she wears loves. Right, sunshine? Your baby's comfort begins with loves. Loves. Mom, you took my brownie. Ricky, you can't put it back together. You can if it's moist. It's magic. Duncan Hines does it with the liquid flavor packets. Mm. Duncan Hines brownies. Our magic is our moistness. You making coffee? The coffee was so delicious this morning. I wanted some more. Mrs. Olson, <laughs> he's never liked coffee that much before. You said Folgers is different. Sure. It's a special blend, the best I've ever tasted. And Folgers is mountain grown, the richest, most aromatic kind of coffee. You make great coffee, honey. I know. Delicious mountain grown Folgers. Come on, relax, huh? You're not going on stage, it's just an interview. Yeah, well, I'd rather be on stage. Well, the idea of facing that camera. I don't know what to say, I'm a dancer, not a talker. You can talk plenty when you're in the mood, right, Kelly? <laughs> yeah, sure. What's the matter with you? You look even gloomier about this interview than Jody does. It was your boss that arranged it. I'm not thinking about the interview. Then what's bothering you? This whole deal bothers me. Please, Kelly, don't start that again, okay? Look, the only reason why that TV crew is coming over here is because Sky Whitney happens to be Geraldine Saxon's nephew. That is not the reason. Mrs. Saxon herself told me that she thought this story was newsworthy. And I happen to agree with her. Just relax, Kelly. Jody's nervous enough as it is. You're not nervous at all, are you? In fact, you kind of like the setup, don't you? What are you getting at? Jody told me that uh, you're going to work for the guy, too. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, you can say that I never really stopped working for the Whitney Company. Oh, you stopped, all right. You stopped the second that you found out that Sky Whitney was responsible for ruining your career as a dancer. Skyler Whitney claims that he didn't even do that. Oh, claimed is a good word for it. How about Martine? How can you work for Cut a guy that Kelly. I don't have to explain my decisions to you. Don't you see what you're doing? You're making Jody feel it's all right to work for the guy. And you're absolutely sure it isn't, huh? Next thing you're going to tell me is that it's a chance of a lifetime. Maybe it is. Mm. Well, look what happened to Martine. She almost spent her big chance at the bottom of a river. Stop it. Gavin did what he thought was best. Money must be really good, huh, Gavin? Listen, stupid. The only reason I took this job is because it's the only game in town. And more important, it's the only one in which Jody is the chief player. If I can help her come out a winner, that's just what I'm going to do. Oh. So you did it for Jody? Yeah, that's right. The reason Gavin accepted this job offer is because he thinks I need protection. Oh, the heck it is. I took it for the fame and fortune. You satisfied? That's why you took this job, and using Jody as an excuse. Stop it! Both of you. Because I can't stand your fighting anymore. Good work, Kelly. Those red eyes are gonna look great on camera. Glad to see you. Oh. I was so afraid you were gonna call and cancel on me again. No, no, never do that. It feels like a oh. year since I've seen you. Oh. <laughs> you all right, huh? You all right? Yeah. Sid, have you been working her too hard? <laughs> we haven't had enough customers for her to work up a sweat. We've well, got two customers right now, paying customers. 
I'm starving. Any food? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I am fixing you kids something special for your farewell dinner. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about, farewell? <laughs> I'll go get things started. You two just sit and relax. What is she... Why did you react like that when Sid said farewell? It is our farewell. You promised I'm not letting you go back to that place. I can't leave there, not yet. No! I, I knew this was going to happen. I knew you were going to say that. No. Relax, please. I've got a very good reason this time. Nancy. What about Nancy? Well, that's what I tried to tell you, honey. Remember that, that old doctor, uh, Featherstone, the one yes. who had the stroke? Well, before he died, he did something very strange. He showed me a picture of Nancy in a magazine. Now, he couldn't talk to tell me what he was trying to do, so I went right to Br uh, Bryson and asked him. Well, what did he say? He suddenly remembers that Nancy did call the Rexford and talk to Featherstone. She did call? Yeah. She's doing that for me, for us. She's trying to prove that Sharky is the father of Emily's baby. But why would he lie if he knew? Congratulations, Draper. <laughs> Isn't it marvelous? Uh, congratulations about what? Well, I thought I just heard you... April, honey, I am just dying here, bursting at the seams, and you haven't even told him yet. What are you talking about? I'm pregnant. I'm going to have another baby. If you just uh, sign this card, Miss Bryson. Okay. Do you know how long you intend to stay? Well, actually, no, I don't. Well, then I'll just put you down for the daily rate. Hi. Could I leave my keys, please? Of course, Mrs. Michaels. Are you sure there weren't any messages for me when I went out before? I'm quite sure. Oh. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. Just a little hunger pang, I guess. Eating for two, you know. Well, I'll see you later. Mrs. Michaels. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. I'm fine, really. Don't bother. Come no. here, you better sit down. I'm uh, fine, really. I just... I just get dizzy sometimes. I'll be all right in a minute. Well, I think you better rest before you try to go out. Uh, can you help me? Well, I'm not supposed to leave the desk. Can you... Never mind. Here, I'll take you up to your room myself. Thank you. Uh, it's Mrs. Michaels, right? Yes, yes, that's me. Here's her key. Oh, thank you. Will you watch my bag? I sure will. I won't put on my bikini till I take it off with Neat. I won't put on my disco dress till I take it off with Neat. Neat hair remover works better than razors. Look, razors only cut at the surface, but Neat works below skin surface. Five days later, you see stubble on the razor leg, but the Neat leg is still smooth, so you look nicer in your bikini, in your disco dress. I don't go out with Bobby till I take it off with Neat. New cocoa butter, too. Neat for smoother legs longer. Sometimes I use powder on it, sometimes liquid. But to get my bowl crystal clean, I need the extra strength of Crystal Vanish. See, Crystal Vanish has chloride plus. So mixed with water, Vanish removes stains and disinfects. Deodorizes too. Gets bold, crystal clean, as Crystal Vanish can. It's special cleaning I do for my bowl and myself. Crystal Vanish gets bowls crystal clean. Tonight at 9, David Frost is the host of the Guinness Book of World Records. You'll see canine frisbee catchers. You'll go to a skateboard track meet and hear a violinist who plays underwater. And tomorrow night at 9, a minor urban crime boss is on the decline, but he refuses to fall alone on Channel 48's Saturday night movie, The Nickel Ride. I want you to feel torn or guilty about having another baby. But why would you think that I'd be anything but thrilled at having another baby? I was just a little stunned. But why did you wait so long to tell me? I'm sorry. I, I should have told you. I wanted to, but I just had to get this Emily Michaels mess out of the way. Look, now that you know, could we please go home together? <sighs> Honey, 
you, you've made me the happiest guy in the world. I mean, I'm excited about the baby. I, it's terrific. But I can't leave there. Not yet. <sighs> Draper, I want... I want this all to be over. I've got to think about the baby, our baby. I want to go home, Draper. I want to go home, and I want to try to live a, a halfway normal life, okay? But look, as long as there's just a chance, even a slim chance, that somebody at that hospital, anybody, might know something about Nancy, I've got to give it a shot to stay. But, but you, you don't have to stay. I'd rather you, you went home. I love you. And it makes sense for me to be where you are. I love you. You know that. But, but I'm stuck on the inside there. You'll do more to help us by going home and taking care of yourself and the new baby and Julia. No, no, as much as I want to do that, I can't. Why not? Because you're here. And as long as you're here, then that's where I'm going to be, too. <sighs> Are you sure there isn't anybody I can call you. for you? No, there's no one. No one in the world who cares about me anymore. What about your husband? I'm sorry. I don't mean to pry. I'm just trying to help. I don't know where he is. I mean, I, I think he's in East Meadows. But I, I don't know for sure. I, he may not still be here. I see. See, that's why I came here, to try and find him. But it's been so hard. I mean, people here haven't been very helpful, and I have to find him before I have this baby. Well, can you describe him to me? Well, I have this picture. He's an attorney. His name is Draper Scott. I, I, I know the names aren't the same, but he is the father of my baby, and I have to find him. I just have to. He's very good looking. I'm sure I'll recognize Mr. Scott if I see him. We Americans are so eager to lose weight, we're becoming a nation of meal skippers. In fact, 37% of us who are watching our weight are skipping meals. But that's not smart. Nutrition's too important. That's why there's figurines. Two figurines bars provide the protein, vitamins, and minerals your body needs so you can skip that fattening meal without skipping nutrition. Mm, delicious. When you skip that fattening meal, don't skip nutrition. Skip with figurines. Oh, did you take those? You like them? They're awfully good. Oh, well, this is Polaroid's new time zero. You want me to take your picture? Oh, could you? That's what the camera's for. This is fun. It's so fast. World's fastest developing color. May I keep this? Then we won't have one of you. You could take another. Okay. Just kind of look over your shoulder. Ah, there, that's it. Hi. <laughs> Time zero. Tonight at 8, travel with the crew of the Calypso in search of the fish that swallowed Jonah on the undersea world of Jacques Cousteau. There's the intruder, and this is important, before he gets in. So call 800-331-1008 for a fact-filled brochure about the bug by Vertronics. Call toll-free 800-331-1008. Linda Carter must stop an enemy agent armed with a secret formula that could destroy the United States tonight at...